Yeah, switch it up a little, don't we? Yeah. Switch it up. Keep it original. So maybe you could tell us a little bit of what appealed to you about Pandora. Why this particular show? It's sci-fi. <laughs> and I've always wanted to work on a sci-fi show. So it's just like, already my radar was just like... Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh, I was a big fan of um, Starship Troopers and the idea of this like futuristic academy where you'd pick what you'd be entering um, as far as a field um, with all these technological advancements and felt, because I didn't go to real college, it was nice to actually go to uh, some type of TV college and uh, yeah, I'm going to show mum my fake TV degree and hopefully uh, she accepts it. <laughs> yeah, and I also think as well, just reading the script, it really had a lot of issues incorporated that are in society right now in terms Happening. of like racism, um, uh, family issues, um, all these all these things that was just so beautifully executed in the script that I was like, wow, even though this is set in the year 2199, it feels so relevant. Mm -hmm. And I just thought that was really well done. <laughs> it was a great way to approach it too. I mean, the biggest thing is uh, the, the writer's room is so intelligent. Mark's created such a wonderful universe for us to come in as actors and, and play in and carve out our own sort of little piece of and, and um, yeah there's so many I guess at the time they would be considered throwback issues but uh, to be able to present them in a way that's all speculative and it, it, it's set from 200 years from now but very much as you mentioned it's, it's related to a lot of stuff that's prevalent today so and that and that's a real nice thing as well that the, the writers are just like well here's a script play Bring what you want, do what you want to do with it. Like there's no, there's no barriers, no parameters. Just go. And that, as an actor, it's, it's amazing to be able to have that freedom to kind of bring all these different colours in and, and and just make it so relatable to to bring a part of yourself into it. You know. <laughs> So when you're saying you brought some of yourself to it, um, is there something specific that you really wanted to focus on that you wanted to Being a badass. <laughs> it's so true what they say about bad guys having more fun. Tamina has the most fun on set out of anybody. Like, literally, she's just laughing. Up. And I was saying before, she's so lovely and sweet in person, and then the second the camera's rolling, I don't know where she gets it from, but it's terrifying, and like I still These sometimes... Guys are like... Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, anyway, so I told us some chocolate. Yeah. Oh, what are we going to do later? Should we go for dinner? And they're just like, who are you? Yeah. It's like multiple personality disorder, and you're just like, yeah, it freaks you out. I'm I've had nightmares about it. Yeah. I've cried in the car about it, too. Hey. Like, oh, Halfway through saying the fact that you were shooting location in Sofia really strengthened you as a cast. Is there any special memories that you have from shooting there? I think that first dinner we had, and yeah, they, they had us go to a, a Mexican restaurant, which was, I guess, Europe's best attempt at... It was actually good. The food was good. It wasn't Mexican, but it was great food. You know, uh, the dining over there is great. But uh, I remember that was just one of those perfect evenings where everything came together, everybody's personalities got to sort of have a chance to shine, and yeah, it's, by the it's end... It's really interesting to say that, because like, I remember I just sat back and I looked at everybody, and I was like, wow. You guys have done an amazing job in the terms of, of, of the casting process because everyone was just getting on well and it was like we've known each other for a long period of time and being away so far from home, we do become a family and, and it's really important. And we did, we spent all day on set, yet we were going for dinner in the evening. We kind of help each other online. We like go do fun things together. It's so nice and, and that's the beauty of, of what, what the writers have done and the creators have done because they just saw something that was so cool and everything that were like you're gonna jail, you're gonna jail, you're gonna jail. And it's made being so far away from him very pleasant. Yeah. Well as far as your characters, maybe you could describe a little bit about them and kind of what we're gonna see a little bit this season. I have strong agendas, <laughs> nicely put, um, very powerful, um, just enjoys what happens, gives Jack the lead character a lot of money, um, and even though someone would call her a villain, I would just say that she's someone who just knows what she wants and she's not, she's not scared to approach it and she's fearless. 
and uh, wherever I come across, I don't mean to scare, but I guess I do. <laughs> um, well, I don't play someone nearly as fun. Um, I, play, I play Greg, he's a med student, uh, he's finished his undergrad and he has some high ambitions uh, in the medical field. Um, uh, and basically, he's just your typical boy next door. He's, he's very approachable, he's very sweet, he's open-hearted. Um, yeah, he's a much better bloke than I am, uh, if we're being honest. Um, and in fact, I strive to be more like him. So you are hopefully, here. hopefully we can get there one day. <laughs> Well, we, we've discovered from the first episode alone that um, Priscilla's character has a bit of a fluidity to her sexuality. What about your characters? That's a great question. I don't know if I explored him too much in that way. The script sort of did a lot of the work for me as far as uh, Greg's uh, romantic interests, uh, which you'll see more of in the upcoming episodes. I think some of it's been teased in the sizzle reel that was uh, released. Um, but yeah, it's just as uh, as an actor, it's so much fun to play love angles. I think at the epicenter of every good story is some type of love um, that's being fought for, and I think. Um, yeah, Greg really was one of my first opportunities to embody somebody uh, romantically. Um, I think being a male Asian actor, you don't get too many opportunities to be a romantic interest. So uh, it was sort of nice that they were uh, CW was willing to give me a shot there. And, yeah, um, it's been an honor to come in and, and, and um, give that a go. We haven't really explored any love angles for this character. It just seems to be that she's on one track. And but what the interesting thing is that um, my father gets introduced, and there's some really powerful scenes, and you kind of understand why and who I am and why I do what I'm doing because you see some beautiful scenes with with my father, who who is played by the actor Ben Cross, um, Oscar nominated, Jurassic Fire, Star Trek. You know, so it's an amazing play playing great scenes with him and, and kind of discovering a relationship with him. So in terms of kind of more of the, the sexuality of her, it's kind of like she's fiery and she's passionate, but we kind of don't really discover that of her. She's just on the same path. It's domination. Could be anything. Could be anything. <laughs> Could be, right? Yeah. Can you talk about the physical demands of your roles? Do you have like lots of action coming up? Or? There's a little bit of action for Greg. Um, most of it involves him taking a shirt off, so I think a lot of the uh, physical demands happened offset. Um, yeah, we kind of, um, a lot of us bonded, I think, um, as performers, uh, a lot of us have pretty strict uh, routines as far as um, staying healthy and staying on top of our, our um, fitness and all that and whatever it is that you're trying to portray on screen. So. Um, I remember when we got there, we all signed up to the same gym, and uh, there was this bodybuilder, uh, big European dude, spoke no English, um, don't know if he was all natural, but you know, one can speculate, and he comes up to us and he sort of gives us the death stare, and, and for weeks we were like, oh, this guy hates us, we're on his gym, he's territorial. Eventually comes out and turns out he was a fan of a previous show that I did. He comes up to me and goes, you uh, booked? I was like, librarian? He's like, ah, the biggest smile you've ever seen. He's like <laughs> high-fiving me, he's taking selfies, and I'm thinking like, wow, way to judge somebody, John. So it's like, um, yeah, so, about, so he actually actually ended up running me through a few sessions, so talking about the physical demands, he, um, yeah, I made, you in, like, I made a friend. fighting and stuff like that? And no, 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 he, he helped me like how to feel sore the Games. next day. Yeah, yeah, Games. getting swollen. There you I think go. Was his goal. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and I mean, your character has I'm hoping that I get to walk. So, growing up, all my friends went to ballet and I went to martial arts. So, I'm hoping that I get to use some of that in some future episodes because that would be really cool. Mm. Like, a, you could do some assassin Badass. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be a piece of cake for it. <laughs> You would, yeah. So what would you like to tease about where the show might be going with the characters? I would love to tell you. <laughs> I'm filming next week and I don't even have the script yet. They're so tight with, with the storylines and, and they tease us a little bit. They kind of like put a little carrot in front of us and they're just like, this might happen or that might happen. And we're like, <laughs> So we don't know. No. I would love to tell you, but we don't know. And CW actually has uh, some bodyguards waiting outside in case I let anything <laughs> slip. And if I go missing, you'll know why. <laughs> and actually, you guys will all be uh, at fault. <laughs> Do you ever make any predictions about where your storyline will go? To see if, if it will go that way? They're so collaborative with us, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. 
And the great thing is, so here's a funny thing about what the writers do. They're like little spies. So <laughs> we're just randomly conversing at dinner, doing fun things, whatever. And someone does something odd, it will be in the script. They are so good at kind of like finding things and incorporating it in the script that it's like, oh, you are sly. <laughs> Too smart for their own good. Totally. Yeah. We're just like, <laughs> well behaved, but not. <laughs> Do you like to know more about it, or do you like to be in the same place as your character? No, I would love to know more. I would. I just think sometimes you can create things in your own mind that kind of send you on a down the rabbit hole, but that rabbit hole should be there. So I kind of like to know where I'm going in order to be able to be on the same track. I don't know about you. Um, yeah, I think I like to be prepared as an actor. I think you like to, to, and it's not so much about knowing the trajectory of your character and knowing that's you start playing that too early. If you're if you're prepared enough, you know in the moment where you should be um, emotionally, mentally, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things that uh, yeah, I want all the pieces, and then I want to figure out how to thread myself from the yeah. start to the end. Kind of like going backwards. Yeah. 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 yeah absolutely. Backwards. Yeah. <laughs> but then there's some actors who like love to live in the moment, and you work with them, and they they show up to set first thing in the morning. They're like, so what scenes are we shooting today? And they haven't even looked like, at the like script. Like Harrington, where he didn't even know that he killed like Daenerys, and they're on the table. Right. 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 And he's just like. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, right there in the moment. Yeah, yeah. which like that. Yeah, but these people they show up and they, some they of them are so uncomfortable. They're yeah. like, yeah. What are the lines? Oh, okay, cool. Okay. I got this. And you're like, and they say nothing that like is actually on the page. Paraphrase, but, but the intention. It works. Yeah. It's great. So I, I don't have that instinctual kind of. Yeah, I'm not that good of an actor, unfortunately. Can't you always look about? <laughs> Remember the guy I, I in the gym in Bulgaria? Yeah. <laughs> he thinks so. He was a, I'm huge in Bulgaria. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. It's so lovely to meet you all. Thank you. Enjoy Comic Con. <laughs> Uh,